Steel from ThyssenKrupp Steel is produced in highly automated plants and processes. The steel production process starts with iron ore and culminates in a high quality flat steel product. Digitalization and continuous optimization along all stages of production ensure efficient and resource saving processes. The real-time exchange of production data with our customers is also becoming increasingly important. We call that Smart Steel. We obtain the majority of our raw materials by ship via the river terminal at our plant in Duisburg. 60,000 metric tons are required daily for our steel production. GPS sensors and artificial intelligence provide support during cargo handling. The generated geo-coordinates are evaluated to enable the ships to be precisely tracked. In the sintering plant, iron ore is prepared for the blast furnace process. It is baked into so-called sinter cake and broken into coarse pieces. In parallel, coking coal is baked into coke for several hours in the coking plant. Coke is still an important reducing agent for the blast furnace today. We also closely monitor all transports at the plant. The site is almost five times the size of Monaco, making it one of the largest industrial locations in Germany. Accordingly, it is important to maintain an overview. Around 2,000 trucks and 13,000 vans and cars pass through the factory gates every day. A navigation app guides all drivers to their designated loading points, while a track and trace system predicts who will arrive where and when. In addition, there are around 100 locomotives, the respective locations of which we can also determine at any time. The next station for center material, pellets, coke and other aggregates is currently still the blast furnaces, which are around 100 meters high. The raw materials are continuously poured into the furnaces from above. Hot air and coal dust is blown in from below. Inside, carbon and iron ore react to form pig iron. The molten pig iron is drained off by tapping. Our four furnaces in Duisburg produce up to 30,000 metric tons of pig iron every day. In the process, we generate around 50,000 metric tons of CO2 per day. However, our goal is clear. Our steel production should become climate neutral by 2045, and we aim to reduce our emissions by 30% by 2030. To do this, we are transforming our processes. In the future, hydrogen will replace carbon in steel production and water vapor will be produced instead of CO2. In the long term, we are focusing on the technology shift to direct reduction with hydrogen. Because solid sponge iron is produced there first, we are integrating innovative smelting aggregates. In this way, a liquid product is also created, just like in a blast furnace. This can be further processed in the steel mill as before, with clear advantages for our customers. They receive all the products in the usual quality and with all the tried and tested properties, with reduced CO2 and, in the future, climate neutral. In the steel mill, pig iron is turned into steel. This is done in what is called the converter by blowing in oxygen. This combustion process generates temperatures in excess of 1,700 degrees Celsius. Steel scrap is added as a coolant in this process as it can be recycled into highest quantity end products. The steel is given its specific properties in secondary metallurgy. The addition of alloying agents such as nickel, chromium, manganese or aluminum can influence hardness, toughness, formability and corrosion resistance. The liquid steel is then poured into molds in the continuous casting plant and cut into what are called slabs. Steel blocks weighing up to 50 metric tons are produced. From the steel mill, the journey continues to the hot strip mill. There the slabs are heated and rolled out with the aid of rolling stands. The result is a long steel strip that is wound into a roll. This is the coil. Up to this point, we have collected a lot of data thanks to digital processes. Over 500,000 sensors, cameras and microphones permanently monitor the processes. This information is collected in the central cloud platform of our mill, Terra. All data is stored and managed there, from production and quality data, order and financial data, to measurement and sensor data. 
After the hot strip mill, our steel can be further processed if desired. During cold rolling, the steel passes through rolling stands again and the strip becomes thinner and longer. In the end, a cold rolled coil can be over five kilometers long. In order to protect the steel from corrosion, we can also refine it. In the electrolytic coating process, the steel strip is passed through an electrolysis bath and in the hot dip coating line through a zinc bath. If desired, the sheet can also be organically coated and colored lacquer can be applied. Barcodes along the entire length of the strip link information about the production location, production plant and coil number as well as the quality of the material with the exact strip position. In this way, important information is delivered directly to our customers. This enables them to process and use the steel even more efficiently. A fully networked value chain. This means that our customers can even intervene directly in the production of their orders in our medium strip mill in Hohen Limburg. And with a lead time of 48 to 72 hours, determine for themselves when their steel should be rolled. In addition, they can still adjust the material properties a few hours before rolling. A one-click order is also possible. Our steel is used in many areas, for example in packaging, in the household, in the energy sector, or in mechanical and plant engineering. That is because it is easy to process, enables economical lightweight construction, and makes vehicles safe. Properties that make it the material for the automotive industry today and in the future. For surface finished and corrosion protected body components, such as side members and B pillars, as well as for entire assemblies, such as chassis, engine hoods and battery housings. Our steel is also indispensable as a high-tech material in electric motors. To put it briefly, steel is the material for mobility. The potential of steel is far from exhausted. It is already clear today, the energy and mobility revolution can only be achieved with steel. And our steel of the future is digital and climate neutral.